might be the solution. Yes, that is the solar energy. We know that the light from the sun will convert it into the electrical energy. However, I'm going to tell you three interesting facts that you might know yet. It's important to know about the facts about the solar energy. However, we still need to know about the history of the solar energy. I will tell you about the old story about the solar energy. Since the solar energy is something scientific, that means there are some equations that exist in the solar energy calculations. Can we convert one of the equations into a programming code? Yes. I will guide you and we'll see you later. We also have one idea to make the solar energy better than before and we're going to install that solar energy system in Malaysia. Hi, I'm member number one from group A. My name is name name name. Number two from group A. My name is name name name. Hi, I'm member number three from group A. My name is name. A classic optimization problem, we have a farmer who's making a rectangular enclosure for his animals. He has 600 feet of fencing and is going to use a pre-existing structure as one side of the fence. Find the dimensions, so that's the question, of the fence that will maximize the enclosure. In other words, we want to maximize the area of this pen. I'll draw it the best I can. So imagine we have some fence here. This is my pre-existing fence side. And then the farmer is going to make a rectangular pen with his 600 feet of fence. The area of this enclosure is what we want to maximize, and it's a rectangle. I think some variables will help. I'll just label the horizontal side as X and the vertical side as Y. Now we want to maximize the area of this enclosure. The area of a rectangle is length times width, in this case, x times y. This is what we'd like to maximize, so this is what we'd like to take the derivative of, but it's in terms of two variables. So we need to use that constraint. The other equation that we need to come up with has to do with the 600 feet of fencing, which is made out of one side x, one side y, and the other side x. Remember that first side is already a pre-existing structure, so we won't include it, but we know that that 600 feet of fencing makes up the two horizontal sides and one vertical side. The equation with the number is the constraint and we use it to solve for one of our variables. In this case, it's easier to solve for y just by subtracting 2x. And now what we can do is we can substitute this y into the y of our area equation. That turns our area equation into x times 600 minus 2x, an equation of one variable, and we can take the derivative, set it equal to zero, and find the critical points. This is the thing we want to maximize. This is the thing we want to take the derivative of. I think it would be easier to distribute first, make this 600x minus 2x squared. That'll make our derivative much easier. Let's do that, let's take the derivative. The derivative of 600x is 600, minus two times two is four, x to the first. There's our derivative. To find the critical points, we set this equal to zero. Okay, so we'll just add four x to solve this. 600 is four x, and 600 divided by four, I think that's going to be 150. So this is our critical point, we want to make sure that this is indeed a maximum. So if we use the second derivative test, if we take the derivative again, the derivative of minus 4x will be minus 4. And hey, there's no x's here. Our derivative will always be negative. That means by the second derivative test, any critical point is a maximum. So indeed, x equals 150 will give us a maximum. And we have to be sure we answer the question. What was the question? The question was, find the dimensions of the fenced area. 
Well, we already found one dimension. It was 150. That was x. And if we want y, we can just go ahead and substitute this into our constraint equation. We would have 600 minus 2 times 150 is y. 2 times 150 is 300. So 600 minus 300 will be 300. In other words, the dimensions of this pen will be 150 by 300.